Almighty God, grant us the courage of Jesus Christ, your Son, to face the coronavirus pandemic with trust, strength, compassion, and resiliency. Give us the grace of the Holy Spirit to free us from fear and anxiety so we may do actions of help and support and look forward to our healing with hope. We pray for the health workers, food liners, maintenance cleaners, logistics abler, government leaders, and volunteers who continuously come together to deliver our daily needs to survive. Guide us from this time of crisis, preserve us in peace, protect the weak and vulnerable, and those who serve to society during this pandemic. This we ask and pray in Jesus' name, our Savior. Amen. Nagahatid saya sa mga Pinoy, mga kantang tatak Pinoy, kahit nasan ka man, kami ay mapapakinggan. Streaming worldwide, the future of radio in Manila, California, and Hong Kong. This is V81 Radio. Malayo ka man sa iyong pamilya, dito ay hindi ka nag-iisa. Kaya kito'y iyong... Hanap-hanapin Dahil ito ang Nagpapasaya sa Views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the program anchors and producers and do not necessarily reflect the policies and position of this station. 
Now is the program for the millennials that will showcase young professionals' worth, aspirations, and successes in doing what they believe is right, progressive, and inclusive. Join them as they discover the path to self and societal fulfillment while making a difference. Hosted by empowered and cool millennial Eric comes on together with her fellow millennials. They will be making a difference. So good afternoon, everyone. You are now tuned in to Making a Difference. This is a show created to inspire and motivate the youth of today. I am your host and online friend, Erica Misson. So last week, I invited a youth organization to the show. They're called Heroes Without Gates. So they're a youth organization, not only focusing on the youth, but they also help out the PWDs and senior citizens. So we got to see a glimpse of the organization itself, the structure, how they work, what their projects are, and what their future projects are. If you haven't seen that episode, feel free to check it out. It's episode two. It's on V81 Radio's Facebook page, and it's also on Making a Difference Facebook page. You can also check out Heroes Without Capes on Facebook. They have a Facebook page. Maybe you know you could message them if you want to volunteer or if you want to help out feel free to send them a message so today i'm actually excited for today's episode um i invited four young professionals they actually don't know each other but they have one thing in common and that is they work for the philippine government so i'm not going to prolong this i really want to introduce to you my guests for today so our first guest is Jermaine Salvador. She is the SK Chairwoman of Barangay Ayala, Alabang, and she is also the Vice President of the SK Federation of Muntinlupa City. And she is also one of my bestest friends. So, hello, Jermaine. How are you? Hello. hello. Hi, Erica. Um, I'm good so far. Thank you so much for inviting me. And thank you, V81, for the invite and for considering me to be one of your guests. Of course. Thank you also thank you, for accepting <laughs> my invitation. Of course. <laughs> and that's true. You know, since we're all in the under ECQ now. Yeah. So, uh, Jermaine, tell, tell us something about yourself. I mean, I know you, but I'm sure the viewers would want to know, you know, your background story, where you graduated. Resume what... ba to? Okay. <laughs> Sige. Um, okay. Um, I graduated, well, high school, graduated mm-hmm. in San Beda College, Alabang, and then for college, I took up uh, international studies, major in European studies in De La Salle University, Manila. Animo, animo yes. yourself. And, <laughs> yeah, last year I graduated um, from my master's degree in mm-hmm. psychology, again in San Beda. Yes, true blood in Bedan. <laughs> and then what else? Um, yeah, I've been, um, I've been leading and serving People, wow, people. Actually, yeah. even when I was younger, um, okay. I didn't notice it pa before. But parang I won't go. I think it's already my passion. Because okay. even when I was a little girl, ako na yung palaging you know, nominate as class president or uh, yeah. yeah, actually to the point na um, I was already like uh, running for positions in the student council. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, ano pa ba ang gustong malaman para sa resume na ito? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really good to hear, no? At such yeah. a young age, you already had that passion. Actually, yes. I wanted to ask you, but I, you sort of answered it already. I'm sorry. No, but it's okay. But okay. My, my question to you was, what made you decide to do what you're doing now? And is okay. there something else? Yeah. Actually, it's, it's kind of um, a long story, but... Mm-hmm. Um, if I were to sum it up, to be honest, um, this is uh, an answered answered prayer, or it's more of like it's God's way of um, really leading me to the path that He wants me to be in. Because, um, to be honest, even if I started being um, a leader since I was a kid, um, I also came to a point wherein 
I told myself, maybe the real um, political world is not for me. Because, okay. of it's so different. Right. Um, it, being in the real political arena is so different mm-hmm. compared to um, being in student government. Yeah, that's what I mean. And it's 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 mm-hmm. it's a it's a tough choice. But then, you know, I just really prayed about it. Like um, when the the opportunity came knocking on my door, actually, it was there pa even when I was younger. But then mm-hmm. I kept saying no. Eh, I was like, it, it knocked on my door again. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, God, is this really what you want me to do? Okay. If ever give me science, oh, diba, naniwala pa ako sa science. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 yun. so um, yeah, I got those signs and I was like, oh, sige, let me just trust and see. Because if I know, naman, if God puts me in this situation, he will help me get through it then. So yeah, I was Agreed. like, okay, let's do this. Ayan na, bahala na. Right. And I'm also glad that um, I have mentors talaga, mm-hmm. like are uh, headed by our barangay captain. Yung barangay mm-hmm. captain, council talaga, they're really yes. um, helping me. Um, and also my team, my SK team. And mm-hmm. syempre kayo, like, um, ah. my youth organizations. Kasi kung hindi nyo pa nalaman, um, <laughs> viewers, sa ating mga minamahal na viewers, um, si Erica din po ang head ng aming youth organization sa aming barangay. O, oh, di ba? Perfect. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm really blessed that I have a really um, great support system, and at the same time, I learn from them. I, mean, I learn mm-hmm. from you guys, so it's a two-way street for me. So I'm really yeah. glad. Yeah, that's really true. You know, um, just a brief background. Yes, I handled the youth organizations here in our barangay. That's that's how I got to meet Jermaine. Actually, yes. we work hand in hand. We are like we're neighbors, but we never met. That's true. We only met like what two years. Yeah, I guess. Hello. I think. Yeah, totally. Okay, there. Sorry, no, wala. Um, we we do have great mentors here. The barangay really helps us out. So, really agree with that. But thank you so much for sharing your background story, Jarmin. I'll talk to you again Mala, later. Alam mo kaya levels. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. next, so next we have Attorney Lyle Matba. Okay, medyo mahaba tong position niya, but he is the Chief Political Affairs Officer of the Congressman of the Lone. Province alone district of Tawi Tawi. See, medyo mahaba po, but we have Attorney Lyle Matba, another good friend of mine, actually. So, hi, Attorney, how are you? Hi, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Of course, thank you also for accepting my invitation. So, mm-hmm. Attorney, how did you become Attorney? What's your background story? Would you mind sharing it to our viewers? Oh, yes, and mine. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> how did I become a lawyer? Um, what? I took up law at UP. Uh, Pre law was UP. My high school was UP. Uh, took the bar mm-hmm. last year. Actually, it's my one year anniversary tomorrow since passing the bar. And uh, yeah, that's. Congrats! Oh, my. Uh, thank you. <laughs> that's nice. Congrats. Huh? Congrats, Tony. <laughs> Okay, so um, right now, as mentioned, you work in the you work for the congressman, right, of yes. Tawi Tawi. Um, are yes. you actually from Tawi Tawi? Yeah, my roots are in Tawi Tawi. Okay, from Tawi-Tawi. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much, Attorney, for sharing your background story. We'll we'll get to talk more about your work later. Okay. So our next guest, we have Chris Marie Balbido. She is the Labor and Employment Officer under the Philippine Overseas Employment Administration. Guys, you have you have so you have long names. <laughs> but anyways, hi Chris Marie, how are you? Hello, I'm doing okay naman. Kakapagod, pero I'm doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris Marie, ikaw naman, what is your uh, background story? Well, I'm Chris Marie. I'm 21. I graduated from Benilde with a degree in Consular and Diplomatic Affairs. 
So mm-hmm. growing up talaga, I was really interested in political affairs, international okay. relations. So that's really what pushed me para it take yung consular and diplomatic affairs. Okay. So is that really um, something you figured out since high school pa lang? Na okay, this is the track that I want to take. Your mga, ano, the latter part of my high school years yung mga bandang third year to fourth year where you really do need to decide what you want kasi mm-hmm. ayun yeah that's mga end of my high school years na talaga okay that's great you know i only so again background sorry for everyone um Chris Marie is my lower batch Two years younger yeah i'm yeah. 115 yeah, and i'm 113 so <laughs> i found out about cda when I was actually applying na for college. And it was my dad who found out about it. And he was like, okay, why don't you try? And then from there, be, I became a CDA student as well. So thank you, Chris Marie, for um, joining the show. I'm really happy that you are also accepted my invitation. And we are gonna have fun today. And okay, we have one more guest, last but not the least, Anton Valde. He is He is the team lead of the Regulatory Management and Training Division under the Anti-Red Tape Authority, which is under the office of the President. So hello, Anton. Kamusta? Hi, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be on your show. I know. I'm excited to have you here as well. So, Anton, ikaw naman, ano, yeah. ano yung backstory mo? Well, actually, Chris Marie and I are from the same school. I, I'm also from De La Salle College of St. Benilde. Uh, I majored in consular and diplomatic affairs as well. But I think I'm one year ahead of um, Chris Marie. Um, I graduated 2018. And I took um, a government job about uh, three months after graduation. This is actually my first job. So mm-hmm. I've stayed ever since. And uh, going into public service, um, yeah, I think, um, my calling, for a lack of a better term, I think calling mm-hmm. for public service started early as well. I was very involved in student politics and stuff like that. And also, uh, growing up, um, my uh, my late grandfather was um, he was also a public servant. Um, he served a term as mayor um, in a town here in Quezon Province. So just yeah. watching him sort of be passionate about public service, I think that's that's where it started. And yeah, now I'm here. I think I'm more than going two years into my first job and into government service so yeah more years to come yeah i know exciting for you 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 know you guys are well you well chris marie and anton you guys are um younger than us pa so you have a long way to go i i've heard their stories already but to our viewers, I'm telling you their stories na asa inspire actually even me i'm already like entering my quarter life and still na inspire ho with these with everybody actually with all my guests so there you go these are these are our four guests for today you got like a brief background on what they do see they have something in common they they really have the heart to serve their passion is there so you could um really see that by just the way they talk before we move on to our second segment um we we're gonna go on break but just to let you guys know the next segment um we are going to um, interview them more more about their job what is their day-to-day like so stick around um we'll be back after a few announcements We'll be back shortly, making a difference. Only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. May items ka na gustong ibenta? Or planning to buy something specific? Visit PinoyAds.ph A free online classified ads na available to all. Post an ad para sa item that you want to sell. Or browse through the listing to find out what you're looking for. Connect with the community. To explore, discover, buy, and sell. Be the boss of every transaction. Sa PinoyAds.ph After this pandemic, let's support the Filipino community. Buy local. Visit local. Go local. 
bayan. Nangu-homesick ka ba? I-download na ang aming mobile app at mag-enjoy sa mga kantang Tatak Pinoy. And feel like you're home. The V81 Radio Mobile App. Available in the App Store and Google Play Store. V81 Radio Mobile App. Free now. Free forever. You've got space? Be a host at BK's. Let that room, condo unit, resort, hotel, or event space bring in profit for you. Have those rented out for a short-term vacation or long-term stay. Earn while offering your space to be someone's home away from home or an area to make new memories only at BK's. Log on to bk's.ph now. After this pandemic, let's support the Filipino community. Buy local. Visit local. Go local. Tunog Pinoy. Tatap Pinoy. The future of radio. This is your all-hits, all-Pinoy internet radio station. This is V81 Radio Worldwide. Ito ang paborito ng bawat Pilipino. Basta all-hits, all-Pinoy, banana. Merong kwentong iyakan at tawanan Kahit nasaan ka man ito'y Magpapakilip 